Right, morning guys. So we are just on our way down to Southampton. Don't know if you can just see the luggage back there. <laughs> we are just on our way down now for our five night P&O cruise on the Britannia. We're so excited. So this is our second P&O cruise. It's our fifth cruise in total, second P&O one. Mm -hmm. So this is the, um, not only in passenger capacity and ship size, this is the smallest cruise that we've yes. done. Because we've been doing like, big ships five to six thousand passengers yep. this one's like three thousand six hundred and forty seven i believe so i mean i guess it was P&O's biggest ship before the rvia and the iona come but for us it's our smallest ship that we're going to be doing so really excited to try like a P&O yes. one again but uh it, i think it is full it was sold out yes we did yeah. we only booked this maybe six seven weeks About six, ago seven weeks ago so yeah it, it, and since then it has sold out you couldn't purchase it anymore so We'll see how full it is. <laughs> Hopefully not too full. We're just going to do like a full review of everything for you. And I'm just so, so excited. I can't wait. Get on. Go straight to the buffet. Well, probably we need to sort out a couple of the speciality restaurants first. Yeah, we we got... couldn't pre-book those when we went no, on. No, it was a, couple... a little bit awkward. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago, it let us have access to the... Um, not the app, the login just page. Just on the website, yeah, the, just, the My Booking part. Yeah, yeah, the My Booking page for the P&O, and it says just inquire on board. So we need to boot them because if the ship is yes. full, we want to try a couple of those. But to keep us going, we did bring four hot cross buns. We've now got two left, yeah, so we may went. as well um, eat another one of those. I think we've got about an hour to go. Yeah, not too yeah. far now. So uh, hopefully... God, I'm just so excited, honestly. Like It's a really sunny day as well, and I just want to be on the deck just... Looking out at the ocean, I can't yeah. wait. <laughs> so, you shut up. Okay, I'll shut up. <laughs> and we'll see you in a minute once we're down there. the port of Southampton straight in front there is the horizon terminal so you can see the MSC Virtuosa is in there been on there twice great ship but we're after the ocean terminal now we aren't parking with the official P&O car park which is CPS yeah that was very expensive we're doing a five night cruise uh, and they wanted 125 pounds we are going to park on the West Key shopping centre car park i've already rang them and spoke to them you can park there for at least a week and it's five pounds a night yeah and then we're just going to get an uber across so yeah it is getting very familiar now we've done it a few times down here i can always remember the first time can't you kevin we were like so confused driving around trying to find where it is but yeah the ocean terminal is down this way further that way and yeah. we're going somewhere the other side of this ikea so we'll see you once we get to the car park cars over there casey's there stacy's there and everybody remember we've parked on 5b <laughs> we were rushing off just for the lifts and kevin's like i better remember where we parked so we're in the west key shopping center yes now I know it's a bit, it seems very secure, obviously we'll let you know in the disembarkation video if somebody's nicked the car, fingers crossed they don't. They better not do, it is yeah. secure, it's, <laughs> it's uh, you know, it's all barriers and electronic reggies and stuff like that. We've seen plenty of other people with suitcases so there must be others doing it as well, and like say Kev had read the reviews and nobody said I caught back off my cruise and my car had gone and so. And just to the right Stacey I've just seen a security camera over there that is twirling round so somebody's fiddling with a security <laughs> camera somewhere at least anyway. They're watching us dodgy people. Yeah so right so let's go and wait for this lift because god knows how long this is going to take. So if you do come maybe try and park in zone B like we have because this is the back of the shopping center there, it's a massive shopping center we went in there last time there's a little retail park here and then from i'm just trying to use my head because we're going to get an uber i think we need to get it on that side of the road because we want to go that way if we get this side of the road it's going to go down there and end up charging us loads more now we're wheeling all this i'm thinking is this a bit ridiculous for only five nights we've got wash all this when we get home but if you've been watching our videos before, you know this little case is always full of cans of pop. Right, so the Uber's here, hopefully can fit all the cases in. Let's get to that ocean terminal. You got them in. in. <laughs> we 
We're here now. The taxi driver's just lifted this because I put him in. He's just lifted him out and laughed how heavy, how small his case was. He was like, "Well, that's heavier than these." I said, "Yeah, it's got 24 cans of coke in." Got more pop than we have clothes. Right, so let me turn around now. You ready for the first glimpse of the P&O Britannia? Ah. Right, so we just dropped the cases off before we come take a look at the back of it. There she is. Now, I can hear forklifts, okay. Now we know this has just come back from the Caribbean. <laughs> so hopefully these are filling it up with nice fresh food. Kev's thinking more like, you know, fresh fish and things like that. I'm thinking like fresh loaves of bread, potatoes, all the good stuff. Massive queue. Even more people coming. So this is our, like I said, it's our fifth cruise. The first one we've done in the kids' holidays. So could be testing times. <laughs> oh yeah, we're going to be trying patience this is, but uh, hopefully this queue goes down pretty quick. Because we need to get that buffet, don't we Stace? Yes. So we've gone from one queue to another. Took us an hour getting here. Hopefully this doesn't take another hour. Right, we're done. Through security, through the other queue, all the queues. What did that take, Stace? Like an hour and 20? Since joining the first queue, it took about an hour and 20. Yeah, yeah. so not too bad considering it as kids holiday. Yeah, but never mind. We're all done. We're getting on. We are going to find some food. Okay, food, 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 food. Right, we've just got on now. Just in the lovely atrium here. There's a guy playing piano, but he's just stopped. Uh, we've just been stopped and we've got to go straight to our muster station. Yeah, so literally as we were going up the gateway, because the ship is at full capacity, we went on to the um, PO app and we. PO, is it the PO app? My holiday app. The way you book all the, the food on yeah, the yeah, restaurant. Yeah, we booked the speciality restaurant um, just because it's at full capacity, you don't want to risk losing it. So. No, yeah, some of them are virtual queues and some of them you have to boot yeah. like the Epicurean. And I think we did we book the beach house, but the glass house is a virtual the queue. Glass house is a virtual so that's queue. something to keep in mind when it's full, get them booked. But what's the station A? We've got to find the theatre. So first impressions of the atrium, it seems very, very posh, don't you think? It's very small. Yeah. It's very yeah. small, but, but it's very nice. I think it's fancier than the Iona though. Yes, definitely. Yeah, it looks very more grand. I was just saying to Kev, so I believe so the ship is eight years old. Yes. So I think it was did its maiden voyage in 2015. And the atrium had a refurb, so I believe, like a refit in 2019. Um so it, I think it has been modernised, but I was saying to Kev the, the late queen she christened the ship back in 2015 yeah. and there's a really lovely picture of her standing in this atrium and she's looking up and then like all the crew and, the, and I think the captain's with it we'll put the picture over it's a really nice picture right so we've just been to our muster station all you've got to do is show your boarding pass to just scan your little QR code that's it no videos no nothing all done nice and simple because he even said it's simple so you can go to the buffet now deck 16 easy we did notice we haven't got the cruise cards yet are they your i think cabin? they get left at your cabin yes right okay yeah because we got a bit confused so i think it's about is it about half past one now no past them about 1 45. 10 to 2. so you said the room the cabins will be ready from two o'clock yes said. i'm gonna have a quick rant and then just get you out to my system you ready for this kev go on so as i said before at the beginning it's the children's holiday holidays here in the uk right so We've chosen to come on this cruise now, same as everybody boarding it today. From joining the queue, okay, bear in mind it took, what did we say, like an hour and 20 minutes yeah, from getting total. on. All we heard in the queue, honestly, is like moan, moan, moan. So obviously you get given times to embark for a reason. And there's gonna be times when the fill, the, the ship is at full capacity. Like and it's it gonna is. be Yeah, so obviously now the ship is at full capacity. There's times, even when me and Kev have gone, when it hasn't been, because it hasn't been the holidays, and we've just gone like straight on. 10 minutes. Like, yeah, 10 minutes. But all we heard in the queue, honestly, is moan, moan, moan. And it was like, but we heard people saying that their embarkation time was like 3, 3.30. And then the moaning at like quarter past 12, like why people are going on before them. So you can understand why they have to have them times to like stagger it when it is busy like this. Yeah. And I was saying to Kev like, you're on holiday, do you know what I mean? People are giving arm and a leg to like be coming on here today. So, you know, it's kids holidays, you, you can't compare it to the times when it isn't and you just get to walk on the ship. Yeah. So just saying that, now I'll, I'll have some food and I'll calm down a little bit. Yeah, she's a bit hangry. I am. <laughs> One thing to remember is the lifts are going to be full <laughs> all the time. We always forget that. So we've had to, we're going to have to walk up 
nine decks to get to the buffet. When to put the buffet on the same floor as you get on. Just saying. So if you didn't pre-purchase a drinks package, there is a station here where you can pay for it now. You will have to join a queue, but at least there is somewhere you can get it booked once you're on here. Oh, right, we finally found the buffet. There's no sign outside. Oh, at least you can wash your hands. Get them dirty hands washed, Stace. <laughs> We're in the buffet. I'm not showing you all this. Ooh, meat, ooh, fish. Because that's all you're gonna hear is me going, ooh, ooh. So we are doing a separate food video for the buffet and the main dining room. So if you want to watch them, go and find them. They'll be in a playlist somewhere. Right, so uh, the plates are a bit meh. <laughs> I will give them the benefit of the doubt. It's embarkation day. Like I said before, it's just come back from the Caribbean. So the food choices might be a little bit lacklustre. But if this is what it's going to be like for the rest of the week, I'm going to be very disappointed. I'm going to be eating off Yorkshire puddings, basically. I was going to say, Kev's gone for... And I'll eat anything, let's the, be fair. The beef looks nice, to be fair. Yeah, but I've got beef, mackerel, some haddock, and the Yorkshire, the Yorkshire pudding is leaking. And that was it, really. It wasn't the best. Nice. Let's put it that way. I've gone for a bit of fish, so we've got like, was that crispy Had haddock? haddock? Yeah, some fries and just some like peppered mackerel, so... Yeah, we'll let you know as the week, but while the five date nights go on. <laughs> we finished off the mains. Kev's come back with a few desserts. So we've got baseball tart and creme brulee. A creme brulee that's not crunchy on top though. Just, it looks like somebody's poured coffee on top of it. Kev, just it's eat, custard. Just eat it. I will just eat it. <laughs> We're going to uh, demolish these, I think, and then head to the cabin. Oh, yeah, because it's after two now, so they said after two. I think they made the announcements before as well, saying the cabins are done, so we'll go see what our cabin's like. Right, so we're in the cabin now. So, yeah, your cruise card was waiting for you just in a slot outside your room. Yes. Now, it was very confusing because they, your cabins aren't in, like, deck one, deck two. We are oh, deck yeah. E which we saw next to the lift, there was a sign there, and there he meant, meant we are deck 10. Yeah. So that was a bit confusing. Yeah, I don't know why they're done in letters. No, but then not, <laughs> not every deck has a letter. Isn't it? No, I think it's only the decks with the rooms on that are letters by the looks with of the it. Oh, with the cabins so on, yeah, sorry. With the cabins yeah, on. it's a bit confusing, this, this layout. And oh yeah, put, because yeah. like the restaurant is on like, the buffet just was on deck, deck 16. 16. Right, okay, so yeah. that wasn't a letter. So that was a bit, confusing <laughs> so keep an eye out for the little maps on the walls by the lifts yes <clears> yeah. that's where you'll find your, <laughs> your information so the suitcases we're waiting for is outside um we are going to do a full cabin tour just yeah. like a more thorough one so we're not going to show any of that now we will let you know that how much we paid for this cruise so like we said at the beginning it's five nights i don't think we mentioned where we were going so we are going to rotterdam we're staying overnight there. Yes, got and then two on days to, there. Yeah, two days there, and then on to Zeebrugge. Yes, yeah. where you can obviously go to Bruges. Yes. But, uh, yeah, so I'm guessing we just docked up for the night. They don't sail out. I'm guessing we just stay in port for, <laughs> for the first, night. That's the first time you would do that, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, so I'm guessing we don't sail out and come back in the morning. No. <laughs> so, yeah. Going on to cost now, we booked with P&O Direct, mm -hmm. uh, as we did check the other like comparison sites, they were exactly the same price. Yeah. So we thought we'll just book for P&O. Uh, we are... We, and that, sorry, that was about seven weeks ago. Yes, before, I, I was yeah. trying to remember then. Yeah, about seven weeks we ago. We paid for a obstructed balcony. We ended up getting an email after, was it maybe two or three weeks ago? Yeah. Saying that we'd been given a, a non-obstructed balcony. Yes. That was so, nice. Yeah, <laughs> we haven't got some blocking the view. Never had an obstructed balcony, so that was going yeah. to be a bit of a learning curve for us, but we'll have to take that curve another day. So getting on to price, we paid uh, a smidge, I think it was £698. Yeah, for the both for of us. For the both of us, mm -hmm. for the five days with a balcony. I think if you had an inside room, it was only about £50 less. So it wasn't really it worth was, it Yeah, it actually one. wasn't much more, was it, for the balcony? No, and obviously the obstructed balcony. I think if we pay for this mm. balcony, it was another hundred pounds. Right, so it was good that we had the upgrade yeah. off and really then want it. Um, and obviously, as we explained, this is the kids' holidays, so um, you know prices are more expensive, I guess. Then anyway. did, so it's not a bad price overall. And because we booked it so late out, we did keep checking it, mm -hmm. and the price did go up quite substantially towards uh, before it sold out. I think yeah. this room went up to eleven hundred pounds, maybe at one point. Wow. So, you know, <laughs> we got a, a deal, I'm guessing. 
Yeah, so we're just gonna explain a little bit about the P&O website, because it's obviously, you're gonna use this all day, every day while you're on the cruise. Yeah. And just in general, these next five days, we're just coming at you with so much content from the ship themselves, because, you know, as much as we, you know, this is our holiday and we like to have a great time and we always go into everything with a positive, you know, attitude. We like to enjoy everything, don't we, no matter what it is. Because it's but better than being at home. Exactly. And just going on to the episode, like I say, this is where you book all your restaurants, if it will show up there, uh, and your most of the entertainment, uh, like the theater, the headline is theatre entertainment. Uh, some things you have to join a virtual queue for, which is a bit annoying. It seems like the two main restaurants, the Peninsula and the, what's that one? The Meridian? Meridian? The Meridian restaurant. Meridian? Meridian. Meridian. <laughs> Meridian. <laughs> Meridian. <laughs> Your Meridian restaurant. It, when we went on the Iona, you could um, boot these a set time mm -hmm. each day. Whereas this one, it seems like you have to join a virtual queue. So, and that, the restaurant opens at six, the virtual queue opens at 5.45. So that's gonna be a bit annoying if a full shitload of people are gonna be joining these queues. I could just say as well, for this, um, I keep saying app, but it's not technically it's an app, it's a website. People, I think, asked us in the other videos, like, oh, so do I get free Wi-Fi or do I need the Wi-Fi? It's the ship's free Wi-Fi, so you can't access any yep. other um, internet things. It's, it's just for, unless you pay for the internet. Yeah, yeah, but it, it's their it, free one. It's a different, you have to sign in differently with the paid internet. This is just Pino Cruises, guest Wi-Fi, and uh, like I say, don't worry, you won't get charged for using it. No. So as much as you're gonna use the P&O website, the best thing that you need is your Horizon magazine. And the thing I don't like with P&O is you have to carry this yes. round with you. It doesn't tell you all this information nope. on the... On the app. On the app, yeah, the app and that isn't an app. Yeah, we, <laughs> we have said before, but a couple of weeks after we get off here, of we're going on a princess cruise to Alaska, yeah. and we're already being able, off the ship, to go on the app and book restaurants, times, we've booked mm. shows and activities already, so this it's not, is yeah. a bit prehistoric for some of us. Yes. <laughs> Let's say of the younger generation. <laughs> so to carry this around is a bit of a faff for me. So yeah, it just does it. I don't know why they can't just put it onto the to the website. It'd be so much easier. Right, so we're just gonna unpack now. You don't need seals unpack. We all know how <laughs> much of a faff unpacking is. But uh, yeah, so your next seals when we go down for some dinner. Yeah. For our evening meal. We'll let you know how we get on in the virtual queue for that one. <laughs> if it's more of a faff than it seems. And then we'll just We've got some entertainment booked for tonight, I think, have we? Yeah, we've gone onto the website, yeah, and we've, we've pre-booked in for that. So um, we'll we'll show you a bit of tonight's show. I think it's like rock on or something like that. Yes. So let's rock on out of here and get to unpacking. Right, so we're all changed now. We're just trying to work out this virtual queue. So we've booked in, we've selected uh, the two of us, a table of our own, and we are now number 63. We were 66, so we've come down three stays. Um, but it does say that you have to leave your screen on and make sure you're still connected to the ship's Wi-Fi. It will come up with this little exclamation mark, but that's the free Wi-Fi, so don't worry about that one. Yeah, so, and then you have 15 minutes. Oh, we're number 60 now. We now, and then you have 15 minutes when it notifies you when your table's ready. So you can pick from the Meridian or the Peninsula? Yes, there is an what, Ori... What have we gone for? Uh, we are the Peninsula. Oh, are we? Right, there is okay. an Ori Oriental restaurant, but that's only... Oh, I've closed the screen. Oh, no, don't oh, close man. the screen. And then, man. Oh, we're still in. There is an Oriental, but that's only if you selected a pre-designated time for your meals. Yeah, is that six and a half eight? Yeah, uh, half six and half eight. Right. It says, for those guests with pre-assigned dining. So I'm not sure it's stage of booking the cruise where you'd select that. I, I can't never remember noticed it being that. an option. Is that something you request at reception when you get on board? Let us know in the comments below if you're a seasonal P&O cruiser or you've been on the Britannia a few times, how does that work? We're not bothered about that. No. We don't like that for ourselves, but I'm just thinking how does it work for others? Yeah. I'm not sure. So, right, we're gonna try and run up now to catch, yes. there's got a DJ on, on out the outside for the sail away. I think it's only a DJ. I don't think they're doing anything special for it, yeah. but we're gonna run up now before this hits zero. Three, two, one, go! Right, so I'm happy that we're sailing off and all, but I don't think I'm 
going to be down there on the platform dancing to blue lights. Are you? No, because I didn't know what this was called. Right, that's enough dancing. Table's ready. Come on, you. I'm still going. I'm just happy because the table's ready so we get food. I was going to say, you can stay dancing here if you want and I'll go eat all the bread. <laughs> just sat down. Menus are here. We'll just show you quick. Pan down quick. That's just obviously a rough idea of what you could expect. Maybe if you cruise with the uh, piano. I was going to say, yeah, I think. I think I'm going to go for the steak. I'll have a proper look in a minute. Right, so with this food and dining, when we did join the virtual queue, we were 66 yes. in, in the queue. And we waited probably about 15 minutes to be called to a table. And then you get 15 minutes to go to that table. So don't join it if you think you want to dine in like an hour and a half's time. It's hard to tell it's hard because to George, when yeah. we booked it, we were like, there was, it already said there was like 69 people in the queue, something like that. So. It's hard to judge. I suppose if you join and you're 200th in the queue, you could be waiting an hour. Yeah. So yeah, it but is hard to judge, just but to just be prepared. Yeah, but just to show quick, mm -hmm. there's oh, you're right. yes. nobody in. So it's hard to tell when to do it. Right, it's that time. She's happy. Bread time. It's bread <laughs> hey, time. I've done well. I've only gone for like one little slice. That was because I was only like, I love that one. And then he kind of went, what do you want? And I really want to say to him, I'm that one, I'm that one, but I've just had the one piece. <laughs> I'm pacing myself. Starts to read. I've gone for a chicken, it's a bit of a funny mix. It's like a chicken croquette and a onion ring. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> I don't think you can go wrong with that though, surely. And I've had a mushroom panna cotta, but it needs like a cracker or some hard bread or something with it. I've still got a bit of soft bread, but it does need hard bread. Can I have some of your bread? No, have you, have you eaten it? I want some more bread. No, I don't actually, no. No, I don't, I'm okay. The mains have come now. Like I said before, I was most likely gonna go for the steak. Oh, with some like chunky chips there. Oh, thanks Kev, he's <laughs> well turned I table. turned it round for Thank a photo. <laughs> but yeah, there's the steak there. I've asked for it medium. Looks really nice, like I said. Oh, some chunky chips there. What have you gone for, Kev? I forgot already. Uh, <laughs> it looks like fish. Was it bass? Might have been bass filly. <laughs> that was it, I think it was. Wow, Still bass you forgot. Yeah, with some uh, asparagus, green beans. I think there's some spinach under there and some taters. They don't look as nice as Stacey's chips. I'll let you, you have um, none. Go on, then one. <laughs> okay, so desserts come. I've gone for the dark chocolate marquees, I think I'm going to say. Um, I wasn't sure if some of it had fell off the plate when he was bringing it over, but I'm sure it'll fill a hole. It looks nice. Where's the rest of my ice cream? You took just one spoonful. Come on. Anyway, I've had pavlova. I think it's a passion fruit pavlova with like a jelly. It's just meringue and jelly, really. I'm a bit kid. We were just joking. I mean, the starters in the main have been very nice, but Kev did just say, can we join the virtual queue again and we can go watch the show and then come back in? But no, I am full though, you were nice full. Right, so it's quieting down out here now by the pool a bit. Uh, it's not as rowdy as it was earlier. So uh, I expect it to be quite rowdy most days though. So don't expect to see it like this very often because it is the holidays, so. The sun's going down, and it's gone chilly, so they've all gone indoors now for food and alcohol. <laughs> Can't blame them, they're on holiday. We've set sail from Southampton now. From any ship, this is my favourite, favourite view ever. And it's the trail of water that the ship leaves behind, which someone did comment on one of our other videos and said that it's called the ship's wake. So there you go, the ship's wake is my favourite part of looking from a ship. <laughs> Enough facts. <laughs> Sunsets. Yeah, how nice is that? So we're just waiting to go in the headliners theatre now to watch the, is it the rock show? Rock on or something like that. So we just sat now in the 
crystal room, I believe it's called. And it's just got like your ballroom dancing in. Will you take me up to dance, Kev? No comments. Right, so I'll just show you about the entertainment. If you want to book it, you go on the My Hall Day app. And then go on entertainment. And as you can see, we are already booked in for this show. But there is a half past 10. You just click on there, select the names you want to. And it's as simple as that. We just sat down now. So it's quite a big theater. It's bigger than what I thought it was going to be. Like I said, I think you said over 900 each sit. So yeah, yeah, yeah it's, re it's a really nice theater actually. Yeah, it's uh, and there's cup holders as well. So I think you can bring drinks in. Yes. I've just, I think I heard the guy we were talking to. I've just heard a lady say actually, oh, do they come and take your drinks or do yes. no, you have to go out and oh, go to the bar? She's over there, I've just seen her with a drink, oh. <laughs> so she can bring drinks in. I think she said you have to go to the crystal bar where we were just sitting, where yes. we were doing like the ballroom dancing, so you have to go to the bar in there and then bring it in. Yeah. You couldn't come and serve your drinks so while you were sat in the uh -huh. theatre, could they? Can you bring me a steak as well? So we just mentioned you can bring drinks in, but these are the cup holders. These are like, look, there's, a stop here, but there's not a stop Stacey's side. So if she had a drink and I knocked it, it'd go all over here. And then yeah. she'd be wet and sticky and moaning <laughs> at me then. Fresh from the West End, it is Rock On! <laughs> So I think we're going to end it here now for the yeah. day. So we hope you've enjoyed the embarkation video and I hope you've learnt some things along the way as well that we've been able to show you because it is our first time on the ship as well yes. ourselves. So we are still trying to figure things out. Yes, yeah, yeah, because <laughs> it's a bit, it, it was a bit of a higgledy-piggledy trying to find his way around a bit today. Yeah. We got lost a few times. Yeah. Seems a bit of a... <laughs> A weird ship for us but we'll get there we will we'll do, get yeah. there so if, if you want to see us get there then hit that subscribe button give us a like and leave us a comment did you find the britannia a higgledy piggledy ship if you've been on it as well or is that just us sure after a few days we'll get we will get yeah, there yeah we'll get there because uh, we've got so much content coming from the britannia we yes. want to really show off the ship as much as we can yep. and just show the, what it has to offer so obviously help you guys out if you are planning on coming on the Britannia yes. cell so that's why we're here yes. to show so, you <laughs> stay tuned for all that yes but it's been a long day mm -hmm. I think we're ready to hit the hay yeah I think so so thanks for watching guys <laughs> and we'll see you next time bye, bye.